going to show you how to set up DFS replication. In the previous two videos, I went over the process for creating a Windows file share with subfolders and security permissions. And in the previous video, we went over creating a DFS namespace and then linking the file shares to it. In this video, we're going to set up DFS replication so it replicates these file shares to a secondary server. So to start on your primary file server, you want to open Server Manager, go to Add Roles and Features, and then make sure that on that File and Storage Services, that both DFS namespace and DFS replication is installed. If any of them aren't installed, just tick it, and then click Next through the wizard. Once you've done that, log on to your secondary file server, in my case DC02, go to Server Manager again, go to Add Roles and Features, and then just check that both DFS namespace and DFS replication are installed. If they're not installed, just tick them and then click next through the wizard to get them installed. Once that's installed, under the file explorer, I've created a blank share, uh, which has nothing in it. All I've done is create the shares folder, which matches the share I created on my primary file server. And for the security permissions, I've given it the same with domain users having just read and execute so that they can traverse this folder but not make any changes to it. And then the individual permissions will be applied on the subfolders within it. So we can, uh, once we've got this blank share, we can close this and then close the secondary file server as everything else can be done from the primary file server. So I'm going to open. DFS management again, and we can see we've got our existing DFS namespace and our three subfolders. Each subfolder only has one folder target currently, which is on the local file server, which is DC01. So what we'll need to do is create a new tar target folder on DC02. So if I just browse to DC01 and go to the shares folder, and then go to DC02, and go to the shares folder. What I'll do is I will just create three new folders in here, one for each of the shares we've got. And then I'm not gonna make any permission changes on these, so they will have the standard default permissions and then once we set up the replication it will pull the existing permissions from our original file structure so go to the accounts then go to replicate folder it will tell you that you need at least two folder targets to configure the replication and do you want to add a new target folder i'm going to press yes and now what we need to do is select the share for the new target folder so we'll do browse. By default, it'll show you the current server you're on. So we'll just do browse again and then select the new file server or the secondary file server that we want to replicate to. Press type that in, press OK, and then expand the shares and press our accounts share. Once we've done that, it will show us the full file path, which is DC02 backslash shares backslash accounts. And then we'll press OK. Now it'll give us the option to create a replication group. So we can press yes. Now that the wizard's open, we can continue the wizard by pressing next. We will, if you want, you can rename the replication group, but I just leave it as standard. So do next. It'll automatically pick up the details from what we filled in before. Press next. Here we can select the primary file server in my case, that's DC01, so I'll select DC01. Press Next. Here we can select the topology. If you have three or more servers, you can do a hub and spoke, but I just leave it as full mesh as we're only using two file servers. Here you can specify your replication bandwidth and the time, time of days you want it to actually replicate. 
By default, it's on full bandwidth and 24 hours a day. But if you want, you can create a schedule so it only replicates using, uh, sorry, only replicates at specific times. Or select it so it only replicates using a specific amount of bandwidth. I just leave this as full, but you can amend it as necessary. Then press next. This is just an overview of what we've done. So it's going to give you the information and then we'll just press create. That's saying success. So we can press close. And then OK, this is just telling us that the replication will not begin until the configuration is picked up by the members of the replication group. This does take a few minutes for some unknown reason. So what we can see now is that there's a little green replication symbol next to the account share, but not the HR and tech. And we can see that it's got both folder targets, DC01 and DC02. If I open up File Explorer again, close them. So if I browse to DC01, and go directly to the shares folder. And then in accounts, you can see it's got the current files. And then if I browse to DC02, go to the shares folder and then accounts, we can see it's blank. Oh, there we go. It's literally just started pulling it through. So now both of these are replicated. So if you create files in DC01, we'll just do a blank bitmap image. We can see that it's instantly moved it to DC02 and replicated it across. That's the same for if you open the share and go through the DFS share. We can still see the same. And if I create a new file within here, which we'll is a rich text document, it should appear in both DC01 and the DC02 window at the same time, or very close to it. So we'll do a new text document. And there we go, it's appeared in both. So when you have multiple file servers set up using um, the DFS share, if you right click the share and go to properties, and then the DFS tab, you can see which one is active and you can check the status check that they're okay and responding as well as currently this is looking at DC01 but you can select DC02 and set that as active for whatever reason if you wanted to manually change them what I'll do is just close them and then now we can see that the replication group has now appeared in the underneath the replication tab for the accounts file you can see the connections the folder that's replicated and any delegation on it. Um, what I'll do now is I'll just do the exact same process for the HR and the tech. So we'll do replicate folder. It'll say that you need at least two folder targets. So we'll do yes. Browse to the target path. Select the secondary server, which is DC02. Go to shares and then select the HR, blank HR folder we created before. Then OK, OK again, press yes to set up the replication group. Then in the wizard, you can see that it's gave it a default name. Do next, next, select DC01 as the primary member. Leave it as full mesh, leave that as default and then create and then OK. And then I will just do the same for the tech, so replicate folder, browse, select the secondary file server, open the shares, select the tech folder. Yes, do the replication wizard. In the wizard, we can just next with all the defaults and just select the primary member. Next all the way through and then create and then close. And now if we refresh, we've got all three of our replication groups, one for each of the file shares that we've got. And we can see the connections. If you want, you can right click and then do force a replication, but it's generally not necessary. If we go back to our folders, we can see that on Um, 
on DC02, the HR one's now replicated. So they both match. And the tech has not yet replicated. But just to show you the permissions, I created these off with the tech because that won't have replicated yet. That's just got the standard permissions, which we created the standard uh, the permissions of the share. But if we go to the HR one and then security, we can see that it's got our custom HR security group and the correct permissions for that. So that uh, it has actually pulled the permissions across that are linked on the main DC01 file share. There we go, as you can see the times just updated on the tech folder and the folders and files within inside have pulled through and the tech folder is now being replicated. And if we go to properties, it updated the permissions with what's on the existing DC01 file share. That's how you set up DFS replication to an existing DFS namespace and have the files synced across to both file shares.